Imagine a hole so deep, it could pierce the very heart of our planet. Yes, you heard it right. Such a hole does exist, a remarkable feat of human engineering known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole. This is the world's deepest artificial hole, a testament to the unyielding curiosity of our species and a symbol of the lengths we're willing to go to uncover the mysteries of our world. Located in the remote wilderness of Russia's Kola Peninsula, just a stone's throw away from the border with Norway, this borehole was a monumental project undertaken by the Soviets in the 1970s and 80s. Aiming to delve deeper into our planet than anyone had ever gone before, they drilled relentlessly into the Earth's crust. The result? A hole that descends a staggering 12 kilometers into the ground. That's about 10 times the height of Mount Everest if you flipped it upside down. What was the objective of this immense undertaking, you might ask? Well, the initial goal was as ambitious as the project itself. The Soviets sought to reach the Earth's mantle, the layer of hot molten rock that lies beneath the crust. This was a quest to touch the untouchable, to see the unseen, to uncover the secrets that have been hidden beneath our feet for billions of years. But despite their best efforts, this goal remained elusive. They never quite managed to reach the mantle, and the project was eventually abandoned. But this is not just a story of ambition and failure. The Kola Super Deep Borehole is a tale of discovery, of pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. So what was the purpose of this ambitious project and what did the Soviets discover in the end? Let's delve into the depths of this mystery. The year is 1970 in the midst of the Cold War and the Soviets embark on a journey to the center of the Earth. A time of tension and rivalry, the Cold War was not just about military power, but also about showcasing intellectual prowess and technological advancements. In this heated atmosphere, the Soviet Union initiated an audacious project one that aimed to drill deeper into the Earth's crust than ever before. The Kola Super Deep Borehole Project was born from this ambition. With the goal of reaching a depth of 40,000 feet, the Soviets were not just aiming to break records, but to unlock the secrets of our planet. The project was an opportunity to further our understanding of the Earth's crust, to better comprehend seismic activity, and maybe even discover untapped resources. However, this journey to the center of the Earth was not without its challenges. The drilling process was a feat of engineering in itself. Imagine drilling a hole as deep as Mount Everest is high, but in reverse. The deeper they went, the more complex the geology became, with layers of rock harder than anything encountered before. And yet, these physical obstacles were not the only hurdles. The project was also set against the backdrop of the space race, a fierce competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to conquer the final frontier. The Kola Super Deep Borehole Project might have been rooted in the Earth, but it was also a counterpoint to the stars, a statement that the Soviets were not just looking up but also digging deep. In the early stages of the project, the Soviets faced setbacks and delays. Drills broke, equipment failed, and progress was slow. But the team was unyielding, spurred on by the promise of discovery and the thrill of the unknown. Little did they know, the deeper they drilled, the more enigmatic the findings would become. As the drill penetrated deeper into the Earth, it revealed secrets that both baffled and amazed scientists. The Kola Super Deep Borehole was like a portal to the unknown, each meter a step deeper into the heart of our planet. As the drill plunged further, it unearthed a series of astonishing discoveries that defied our existing knowledge of geology. One of the first surprises came with the presence of water at extreme depths. It was a generally accepted belief that water couldn't exist so far beneath the Earth's surface. The intense pressure and heat were thought to be too much for any form of water to survive. Yet, there it was. Water found at depths over 7 kilometers into the crust. This discovery shook the foundations of geology and raised questions about the potential for life in the deepest corners of our planet. Moving along, the drill was expected to transition from granite to basalt at a certain depth, marking the boundary between Earth's crust and mantle. This was based on seismic activity data and was a widely accepted assumption in the scientific community. However, the drill bit kept grinding through granite long past the predicted transition point. The expected basalt was nowhere to be found. This raised eyebrows and prompted re-evaluation of seismic data interpretation. But the surprises didn't stop there. As the drill descended further, the temperature began to rise, far more than the scientists had predicted. 
At 12 kilometers deep, the temperature had reached a scorching 220 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees hotter than anticipated. This unexpected heat increase posed a significant challenge to the drilling process and was another stark reminder of how little we truly know about our own home planet. These findings challenged our understanding of Earth's geology, but the most puzzling discovery was yet to come. The Kola Superdeep Borehole was not done revealing its mysteries, and what lay ahead would only deepen the enigma of this ambitious Soviet project. At the deepest point of the borehole, a chilling sound was recorded, a sound that would feed rumors and spark endless debates. Let's dive into the eerie side of the Kola Superdeep Borehole story, the infamous Hell Sounds. Yes, you heard it right. A rumor spread like wildfire that the drilling had pierced into the underworld and the sounds of torment were captured by the Soviet scientists. These hellish sounds were said to be the screams of the damned echoing from the abyss. A chilling proposition, isn't it? But, as is often the case, reality is far less dramatic than the tales we weave. The truth, while not as spine-tingling, is nonetheless fascinating. So, let's cut through the noise and get to the heart of the matter. The hell sounds were, in fact, the result of natural geological processes. The Earth's crust, a complex and dynamic structure, is in constant motion. As the tectonic plates shift and grind against each other, they generate a symphony of sounds. Like the creaking of a wooden floor or the groaning of an old house, the Earth, too, speaks in its unique language of rumbles and roars. At the depth of over 12,000 meters, the borehole had reached a point where these sounds were particularly audible. The instruments picked up the deep, resonating echoes of our living, breathing planet. It's a stark reminder that beneath our feet, there's a world in constant flux. A world of immense heat and pressure where rocks are recycled and mountains are born. So, while these sounds weren't the screams of the damned, they were no less remarkable. They were the voice of the Earth itself, a voice rarely heard by human ears. A voice that offered scientists a unique insight into the inner workings of our planet. While these sounds weren't supernatural, they added a layer of intrigue to the already mysterious Kola Super Deep Borehole. Despite the project's termination in the early 1990s, the Kola Super Deep Borehole continues to fascinate and perplex us. It stands as a monument to human curiosity and our unending quest to uncover the truths of our world, truths that lie far beneath our feet. The Kola Super Deep Borehole project dramatically altered our understanding of the Earth's geology. It revealed surprising inconsistencies in crust density, which forced scientists to rethink long-held assumptions. It also brought to light the existence of microscopic plankton fossils deep within the Earth's crust, a discovery that opened up new possibilities in the study of ancient life. The project's implications extend beyond the realm of geology. The borehole became a touchstone for future deep drilling projects demonstrating the feasibility of such endeavors and inspiring successive generations of researchers. It gave birth to new drilling technologies, techniques, and safety measures that have since become industry standards. But what of the borehole today? Sealed and largely forgotten, it might seem like a relic of a bygone era, yet its influence permeates the scientific community. The data gathered from the Kola Superdeep Borehole continues to be analyzed and interpreted, offering fresh insights into our planet's history and composition. It's a legacy that, despite the project's end, keeps on giving. The borehole also serves as a stark reminder of our limitations. Despite our technological advances, we've barely scratched the surface of our planet. The Earth's depths remain largely unexplored, a vast terra incognita waiting to be discovered. The Kola Superdeep Borehole, an ambitious journey into the unknown, remains as one of the greatest scientific endeavors of the 20th century, its mysteries still echoing from the depths of the Earth. It's a testament to our insatiable curiosity and our enduring desire to push the boundaries of the known world. Today, as we stand on the precipice of new scientific frontiers, the borehole's legacy continues to inspire and challenge us.